one kid only means your four walls against unwanted foreign invaders. <laughs> Jeff Ross, roasting. Jim Acosta, what are you exactly? Because you're not suave enough to be a Cuban spy. Does CNN just shove a mic in front of anybody with good hair who doesn't look too Tommy Lee alt-right-ish? Can I get a holla for some raise the roof holla? <laughs> that was by far the creepiest holla for holla yet. I promise not to replicate that shriek of despair ever again. <laughs> what did Barr lie about again? What did Attorney General Barr lie about again? Bob Mueller parting his hair without any product, <laughs> insisting he used nothing but good old fashioned elbow grease. Can I get another holla for some holla? But seriously, what did Attorney General Barr lie about again? Telling Lindsey Graham how much he loves how President Trump has made Ball Boston great again? Trumpian. Noun. My first ever Urban Dictionary edition. I haven't. You're not going to find this in Urban Dictionary. <laughs> I was just trying to give a understandable setup. Try to pace myself. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. That was really gross. Trumpian. Noun. A patriot. Who knows? Obama is the real sketchy, lying egomaniac who did less to empower gay black power than Jesse Smollett. <laughs> God didn't give me three kids to give me night screams over it. Then again, I don't have Jesse Smollett's active imagination. Trump's a white nationalist, but Trump led our embassy move to Jerusalem. So technically speaking, He's a Hebrew nationalist. What statement is Sports Illustrated making by having a Muslim model sporting a burqa bikini in their annual swimsuit issue? Just focus on her Kathy Ireland eyes infidel. I ask Alexa to turn the light onto red light district red so my two sons can experience the sexy allure of grown women prostitutes on window display. Instagram banned a photo of Don Jr. and a wounded vet because the vet was black, patriotic, and no fan of fake news fro Colin Kaepernick, I'm assuming. But at least Kaepernick got paid fake news slave reparations. Right, Spike? <laughs> Kimberly, Gilfoyle is hot. So hot, want to touch the hiney. Over family dinners at Mar-a-Lago, if I'm Eric Trump, I'd resent Don Jr.'s do-over shot at love, thinking, great, I'm stuck playing Patch Adams for St. Jude, and baby bro gets to mount her at will. <laughs> Quickly, <sighs> unbelievable. Critically acclaimed dramas are off the list. The tragic hero committed suicide in their pursuit of happiness. What an uplifting reveal. I just wasted two hours of my life on. <laughs> Thanks for more overrated, rebooted cliches. Rapewood. <laughs> I need a breather, folks. All right. Pete Davidson on blowing off a comedy show. The owner made fun of my breakup with Kate Back in sale, and I'm still not over being the rebound boy toy king for Generation Z. Can I get another holla for some holla? This is me at the dentist's office. Dennis, how do you feel, Michael, after your second deep round of cleanings? And I said, a tad less scumbaggy. <laughs> Dennis laughs. Long time. Married podcasting couples are a thing. They discuss neighborhood gossip. So they get out of the house more than I do. I hate them all already. Barr is lying. Barr is virtually disqualified himself. Barr should step down. You're only making him more angry. 
Rocky does more than beat Clubber Lang in the rematch. Balboa knocks him out early. I see Barr going for it. <laughs> Mueller on the DNC servers. I didn't examine the DNC servers because I preferred to minimize follow-up questioning with Debbie Wolfface Wasserman. Her ugly chompers make Michelle Wolf look fetching. Omar being Omar. This country is not going to be the country of white people. You're not helping your cause. <laughs> Neither did the pretty face Kenyan Slim Shady Obama. <laughs> Sound more like a broken Paul Mooney record, Jew Lover You. <laughs> Most convincing condom ad ever. Skin condom. Feel everything. I always freaked out when I'd feel everything because it meant the condom ripped, thinking sex is fun again and I'm going to die for it. <laughs> Jeffrey Tambor, flipping out on the set of Transparent. Real ladylike, pissing on my toilet seat. Now, get out of my trailer, you butchy bitch. Hey now! <laughs> How is President Trump inciting violence against babyface Omar? Sure. Incest is a big no-no in the Old Testament, but I don't recall President Trump putting a spotlight on her marrying her brother to secure U.S. citizenship. <laughs> it's me talking to my daughter in her room. We're going over her astrology chart. She's a Pisces. Here we go. Daughter, Daddy, what does sensitive mean? And I said, liar, liar. Pants on fire, congressman freaking out over being investigated of real life, seditious collusion against a duly elected president. Can I get another holla for some holla? Heart to heart with my perfect boy. Compliment your big sister on almost breaking the school high jump record at eight. I'll fail as a father if you're not your sister's number one builder upper. Not that she needs it. <laughs> what statement is Sports Illustrated making by having a Muslim model sporting a springier Mugatu conjuring bikini in their annual swimsuit issue? Fun, fun, fun till El McPherson's sand scatter navel went away. <laughs> How did Antifa win over baby Boomer resistors. Oh, that's right. They're spoiled white kids who shit on the cops and military, knowing the media and Hollywood has their back. So much for the times changing, Bob. Can I get another holla for some Gen X hilarious holla? Let's talk about Antifa. You're the freaking white nationalist racist if you think only brown people from the Middle East can be classified as terrorists. Torching conservative dorm rooms in college isn't associated with hazing. <laughs> that actually happened at Tulane University. You can look it up on Google. <laughs> American loving Google. Let's talk about Antifa again. You're the freaking white nationalist racist if you think only brown people from the Middle East can be classified as terrorists. If you set Berkeley on fire because Big Bad Ben Shapiro is in town to speak, who is the second least threatening Jew in the universe after Chelsea Clinton's husband. This is me in the car with my son this morning. Son, was Mary Jewish? And I said, I'm not well versed in the New Testament, but Jesus hadn't invented Christianity yet. And according to Jewish law, Jesus could only be deemed Jewish if the mother was. <laughs> Goodwill Hoodie at Facebook really hates it when you promote your love of God on his site, but posts praising the almighty wisdom of a prophet into child marriage and killing flamboyant burka designers is kosher in his book. Can I get a holla? For a shadow ban joke, holla! Future conversation with my younger brother about his upcoming wedding with his second fiance in the past three years. 
I'm only allowing my three children to have a special role in your wedding because mom deserves a sliver of happiness after all you put her through. <laughs> I mentioned this before, but why is Attorney General Barr being called a liar again? All he did was summarize a blatant front for what should have been the Hillary witch trials. Can I get another holla for some holla? My son got this new stuffed animal. He's actually a, supposed to be a replica from the owl from Harry Potter. I haven't really I haven't seen the Harry Potter, so I didn't recognize it. <laughs> Doesn't really make a difference, but uh, that's who the stuffed animal was based on. Just to give you guys a little picture over here. Very good looking owl, very pretty. And my son says, make out with Owly. Sorry, I make out with Owly. Ooh, Owly, come here. Uh, 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 Owly, give me some lip. Uh. And then my son says, Daddy, Owly is a boy. And I said, how many more tongue darts make me gay for trans owls? <laughs> so me talking to my wife. Wife says, you should be happy. I don't spend thousands of dollars on bras from Victoria's Secret. And I said, you really know how to perk up my spirits seven years into marriage. <laughs> God working in mysterious ways. Scottsdale, Arizona is sunny 299 days a year. Yet when my family was flown in to see my parents in March, it wasn't. <laughs> Not the ideal backdrop to sell us on trading endless greens back east for piles of rocks. <laughs> Trump resistors are incapable of opinion changing introspection because they're too full of false bravado, fake news morality, and all consuming hate for not being as beloved by their own children for starters. <laughs> not done talking about Antifa yet. Anyone who defends and normalizes Antifa's violent tactics against peaceful Trump supporters aren't good people. <laughs> They're the fake news moralist, fascist enabling, unibrow matto licking anarchist. Can I get another holla for some holla? Sexualizing my kid's stuffed spidey bear animal, Arthur. Can I donate your spider bear, spidey bear to Goodwill? It looks too care bear gimpy. <laughs> Eventual call with my younger brother. So you want my kids to play special roles in your wedding. Despite you playing zero role in my three kids' lives for eight years and counting. Pimping out my kids to make you look good is fair. <laughs> it's a fair deal, man. <laughs> But you use good ingredients, says, I don't trust your cooking instincts enough to improvise like John Leguizamo. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, taxing his lover, I want to smell you. Okay, so we all can't be poet laureates. Bold ears can afford not to be, I know. <laughs> Wife says, I should divorce you over the boiler room. And I said, you don't hear me complaining about your box feeling less than cramped. Son shows me his drawing. Son, data, look, Trump money. And I say, I don't see Kenya giving Obama his own money. Obama's so not money, and Kenyans know it. <laughs> wife. I told my wife about letting my five-year-old son put gas into her car today, which was the first for him. He broke his cherry. I was very proud of him. And I figured I'd tell my wife because I'd probably get some material out of it. And I did. So here we go. Wife, don't let Arthur pump gas. It has ethanol. People who work at gas stations have higher risks of getting cancer. And I said, and come out as Blue Oyster Bar frequenting suicidal Judas Priest fans. Can I get a holla for a awesome Gen X reference holla? This is my son again encouraged me to make out with his new stuffed animal, Owly. Son, tell him dad, 
Make out with Ali, Dada. Make out with Ali. Oh, Ali, come here. Son says, Daddy, Ali is a boy. And I said, John Podesta wouldn't give a hoot. Can I get a holla for Pizzagate Awareness Month? Holla! <laughs> wife. It's my wife showcasing a new pink bra. Mucho cuerno. She says, what do you think? And I said, I like how the bra isn't from the Handmaid's Tale catalog. <laughs> Jerking off for men today is a must. It's our only safety rail left. This is me pissing off any baby boomer on purpose. Because they all suck off Stevie Nicks no matter what. Here we go. This is me pissing off a baby boomer on purpose. Stevie Nicks' voice is a notch above Madonna. Her songwriting is more overrated than Joni Mitchell. <laughs> Last, she has no real rockers and looks like a frumpy gypsy hunchback. Can I get another holla for dumping on Gen X? I'm sorry, for dumping on baby boomer heroes? Holla! This is me at Salem Fence Assistant. No daycare today? And I said, I work from home, bitch, but I appreciate your interest in blowing money on daytime babysitting we can't afford. TNT halftime review. Kenny Smith is a politically correct snooze. Shaq's LeBron love is nauseating. Ernie makes nice a blood face sucking liability. Barkley exists to make Shaq look more uptight in his suit than he is already. <laughs> I gave up drinking beer last summer because it was humiliating, spending so much time outside my home, hungover, recycling, living reminders of my lushiness as entire Rocky marathons on AMC passed me by. It's me on Metro North. This is the leaf blower. He could have done something else, but let's pretend he's a leaf blower for the service of the joke. And this is the leaf blower. This shaky train is making me nervous, man. <laughs> Ticket puncher. It's an old train. And I say, you do realize Metro North is the Orient Express compared to Long Island Railroad Amigo. <laughs> Milo, Alex Jones, and Farrakhan go to an auction bar. Because Farrakhan doesn't drink. Alex Jones always needs a breather. And Milo wants to prove he's not above cruising for hairless Persian men. <laughs> I can't stand Ann Coulter. She gives herself way too much credit for being a strained, wannabe, laugh-out-loud culture commentator at large. Still, I admire her for calling out the Jew-hating, Antifa-rooting, demented New York Times. Can I get another holla for my streams of mouthful Jemry Holla! Taking a sip of Paps. All American made, baby. How can anyone with a brain claim the U.S. A. was better off with Obama as president? He nuke gifted Iran, neutered our military, pushed the false narrative, hands up, don't shoot, ignored ISIS, got cops killed, and killed off fashion police forever. Joe lives! Trump is a Russian agent. And Robert De Niro is considered a formidable intellectual left to his own faculties without Marty. <laughs> How can you hate the movie Rudy? That's like hating Joe Pesci and my cousin Vinny. Most passive-aggressive suicide note goes to Kate Spade. It read, it's not your fault. Dad will explain. Dad screams, explain what? I was the one you couldn't stand to live with one second longer? What a bag of shit, Kate. This is me talking to the Salem fence owner. That's out of my house today. Got a good looking kid. And I said, I agree. He's only allowed to leave the house in high school when he gets older with a backpack full of pre consent forms. <laughs> Salem Fence owner laughs, long time. 
Are stay-at-home moms ever ask no daycare today? Because men shouldn't bother getting their hands dirty on the home front during nine to five working hours. Kids are best served with one hour FaceTime with dad per day max. <laughs> it's my son again. Encourage me to make out with Ali. Make out with Ali. All right. Uh, Ali. Uh, 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 uh. And my son says, Daddy, Ali is a boy. And I said, I'm not as wise and all knowing as Bill Maher. Can I get another holla for some holla? This is me at Salem Fence. Assistant. And she says, no daycare today? And I said, unless you know of a funnier daycare worker than me, I'm not interested. Funnier dad, happier baby. I'm sure your kid matches the gleam of my son's glorious light. <laughs> this is the Do It All Dad Year podcast. Dad-friendly entertainment for you and me. What Gen X parents understand, controlling our kids with comedy can make our kids great again. Shadow ban this Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys soon.